Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very exciting video because the game of chess has officially been solved, but not in the way that you think. Chess has been solved in reverse. This idea was brought to me by a viewer, subscriber, hopefully named Adam C, who programmed Stockfish, the best chess computer in the world, to play against itself. But every single move, it had to make the worst possible move. So a move that would benefit the opposing side in a maximum capacity. What you are about to see is some of the most otherworldly nonsense that has ever occurred on a chessboard. Chess has been solved but in the most deviant and backwards way imaginable. This is sensational stuff. Buckle up. If, if you don't leave this video laughing, if you don't leave this video with a migraine, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, at some point, this bar is gonna have, uh, is gonna vomit like on a roller coaster or, or turbulence on a plane. So the worst possible first move on a chessboard, according to Stockfish, is g4 it's the grub believe it or not that's not what i say it's what stockfish says now the best way to meet the grub is to play in the center and then white will play bishop g2 and try to apply pressure and basically try to argue like losing this pawn is not you know terrible the <laughs> now remember stockfish on both white and black is literally trying to play the worst possible move f5 is the worst possible move because not only do you lose a pawn you also weaken your king white now plays f3 which is the worst possible move which defends the pawn but blocks the knight and also this is a possibility so now e5 would be the best move but black is trying to play the worst move so g5 now again i'm not going to remind you every single turn that it is literally the worst move possible being played it is the move that is programmed to give the opponent the largest advantage king f2 <laughs> now you would think oh it's just going to be king moves all game no 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 now king f7 king e3 king e6 and now the worst move for white is f4 because what that does is it will lure the king into the center of the board but black's worst move is king d5 white now plays the very enterprising queen e1 with the intention of losing the queen on h4 black plays king c4 giving white a plus three and a half advantage mathematically geometrically chessically that was the worst move possible now white plays queen h4 intending to lose the queen and now it's minus six black does not respond by capturing and instead plays queen e8 giving white once again a plus four advantage if white were to start taking these pawns and attacking the queen uh, the king uh white now hangs the queen on h6 two different ways but black is programmed not to capture it and plays the move a5 now it's mate a5 is officially checkmate for the first time with b3 king b5 and the queen on h6 which is hanging two different ways cuts off the king's escape therefore rendering a defeat all but uh you know impossible to avoid c3 actually there's king b3 however black plays the move uh excuse me white plays the move queen f6 and is now minus seven and a half which is officially the largest disadvantage black now plays b5 uh, re-blundering checkmate bonus question where is the fastest checkmate now for white yes you can take the rook yes you can give checks with pawn or knight but actually queen d4 is made in one but white plays king f3 and now it's back to minus eight black plays d5 and now it's made in one once again with the move queen to c3 uh white plays bishop h3 and now it's minus eight so it's the biggest advantage that black has had thus far uh, Bl uh and black should achieve that by giving a check and then taking the queen of course uh black plays queen d8 re-blundering a checkmate in one and a multitude of checkmates in two white plays e4 blundering the queen and a multitude of checkmates checks once again rook a7 is blundering checkmate in one 
and then it's going to be checkmate in one again. It's, it's, it's going to be this for a while until white plays c3. So now a very big moment. White now no longer has mate in one. White has a million different mates, but none in one move. Now it's only plus 11. Okay, actually, it's mate in eight. Can you calculate mate in eight here? Well, it's queen d4, king b3, queen d5, king c2, and now white plays b4 to try to, you know, do something over here. Bishop f1, set the mating net. Uh, we have rook a2, however, uh, and the queen on f6 has just been hanging for the duration of the game. All of these pawns can take each other. But remember, this is Stockfish being programmed to play literally the worst move possible at every given opportunity until the very end. You are going to see that in the end game, uh, the, the, the engine was in fact programmed like to finish the game. Otherwise, theoretically, it would be a draw. Black plays a4. Now it's made in three. Uh, checkmate in three here is virtually unfindable. I mean, it's very tough to... You could pause here. This is a very difficult checkmate in three. Uh, it's actually to play b3. If pawn takes, then queen d4 is made again. Uh, if king takes, you actually have rook b2 and then queen d4, which is kind of funny. White now plays queen g6. So now all of this is gone, uh, and black, of course, should take the queen or give a check and then take the queen. Black plays c5, however. Now the king is mummified. Now b3 is made again in the form of bishop to f1, which is beautiful. Uh, black plays queen, uh, white plays queen c6, hanging the queen three different ways again, and now it's minus eight. Black plays bishop h6, hanging very simple queen takes d5. White plays king g2, uh, which gives back all of the advantage to black. Now black has a bunch of pawns in the center of the board. Uh, and now f takes g4. So where this game is going to get very interesting is that at any given moment, queen takes d5 is made. So for example, black could play this, queen takes d5 is made. Black could play this, queen takes d5 is made. Black could play this, queen takes d5 is no longer made, but there's another mate. Black can play, I don't know, knight a6, knight f6. Actually, then queen d5 would not be made. Bishop g7, e5, a queen all the way back here. But this move actually makes some sort of progress in the position. There's a lot of ways that black can hang mate in one in this position. You would find all of them. E5, and now officially black is in the minus 10 range. Black has not had a checkmate yet. White actually has no way to blunder a checkmate in this position. So white plays E5, giving up all of this. Now we have G takes F4, and now it's checkmate in three once again. By the way, for, for the engine to calculate that after this move there is a, there is a mate is fascinating. White plays knight E2, and now it's digging into minus 11 territory. Black should do this, then of course should take the queen. White, uh, black plays knight a6, and now pawn to b3 is checkmate yet again, because after this, there is this, and then there is rook b2. Uh, knight g3, e6, b3, b3 is made again. Now that continues for a while. The queen is still being hung three different ways. We know that the queen is not going to be taken, but now white doesn't have a mate at all. And now white's queen goes to d8. I mean, this is, this is, this is sickening stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Because the queen knows it's untouchable. The queen knows. Well, maybe the queen doesn't know. The queen is untouchable. Black cannot take the queen. Why can black not take the queen? Because that is not the worst possible move on the board. The goal is to give the advantage back to the other side. Rook c7 gives that advantage back because after a3, excuse me, after b3, uh, a, b, d3, king d3, rook d1, king c4, knight d2, king c3, knight e2, king d3, knight f4, king d4, knight f1, king e4, rook e2, king f5, knight g3, white has a forced checkmate in 10 moves, which obviously you saw. Give yourself a little bit of credit. I know you've been doing puzzles on chess.com. Everybody saw that. If you didn't see that, then I don't know. You weren't paying attention. But everybody saw this line after, you know, uh, so yeah, there's checkmate in 10 for white in this position. B3 check, A, B, D3, King, D3, Rook, D1, King, C4, Knight, D2, King, C3, Knight, D2, King, D3, Knight, F4, King, D4, Knight, F1, King, E4, Rook, E2, King, F5, Knight, G3. Spectacular, but none of that happens. Knight, B8, Pawn to D4, C, D4, Bishop, D2, now Pawn to D3. Now the Black King is made it. Once again, completely surrounded. Have you ever seen a chess position like this? No, you haven't. You haven't. I'm telling you right now. This is what happens when you program an engine to play the worst possible move. King to g1. Are you still watching, by the way? Because this, this is nuts. Rook c6. Queen is on f8. Pawn takes h3. Black is up seven points of material, but it's made in one. Queen takes g8. Sacrificing the queen to both pieces. 
Pawn to f3, not capturing it. Knight to e2, blundering the knight, and then very promptly blundering a checkmate. Bishop to d6, rook a1. King to c5 back. Queen back to g2, and any of these pawns can take any of these pieces, but they don't because you are programmed to lose. Now, we begin a sequence of events. This game had five promotions to knights. Five. Bishop e1, f takes e1, knight. Why? Because queen f2 is check, and knight d2 is mate. f takes e1, knight does not stop that. White plays knight g1, black plays queen g8, which is the one of the worst moves. Knight e2, now officially it's over, queen takes queen, and queen takes knight is mate, h5. King g1, now it's mated in one. That was the only way to get mated in one move. Literally, king g1 is the only way in this position that you have mate in one move, I think. I mean, I would be remiss if I could find another one. Queen c8, queen g8 again. b3, queen on a5, c4, queen b4. The black queen is trying to get the king mated. It is now only plus one in white's favor. This is insane. Knight c1, it is now mate in five. Bishop e8, it's now plus three. Pawn takes d5, it's now mate in three for black. You have to take the queen. Rook a6, it's now plus five, but you take the pawn. It's now mate in three again. Rook a5, now you take the pawn in e6, it's mate in three. h4, a takes b5, bishop f7, and now for a first time in a long time, white actually has like a plus eight advantage because they can take the queen, but they don't, they take the rook. Why do they take the rook? Because queen g4, queen e2, and queen g2 is mate. Queen c3. Queen g7, hangs a queen two different ways, it's mate again. E takes f7, queen goes back to e8. Now, of course, this is a queen, and white is completely winning, but we know that that doesn't happen. Pawn to b6, it's now mate in two. King to b5, it's now mate in five for white, because when you take, you make a queen and it's check. Nobody plays that. Pawn to b7, black is winning. King a4, now white takes the bishop on f8, and now black is winning again. Knight f3 or rook g5, or queen e3, they all lead to mate. Queen d8 is mate in one, queen to b4. So now it's black stockfish's turn to start throwing checkmates in one move. The checkmates in one move are ridiculous. White plays knight b4, occupying the square for the queen, so now they cannot checkmate, and that is the worst possible move. Rook back to a8. Now you can take the rook and promote to a queen, but instead you take the rook and you promote to the worst possible piece, B takes A8, knight. Two knight under promotions. Why is it losing? Queen G5, queen G2, queen E2. Um, had you made a bishop, that actually would have covered promotion, which is nuts. Queen takes B4, officially blundering checkmate in one move. Knight to B3, black has mate yet again. D2, rookie one, ladies and gentlemen, queen takes B4 is a checkmate. What is the worst possible move in this position for black? If you're going to take this. If you take this and make a queen, it's check. If you take this and make a rook, it's check. If you take this and make a bishop, it defends the queen. So you take this and you make a knight. Three knight under promotions. Queen e7. Now black is winning yet again. Folks, you can promote. You can take, or you can make. <laughs> oh my god. Knight f7, knight c7. The queens are just staring at each other. It's a staring contest. If I take your queen, it's mate. If you take my queen, it's mate. But we are programmed to not do that. So in the meantime, our queens have a staring contest until one of them breaks it, all right? And then the black queen runs to b2, and the end game is just, I mean, that's made, by the way. There are four horses just standing around grazing on the outskirts. Oh, there's a spider on my wall. On the outskirts of the farmland, the white king is stuck over here. I, there's just a random rook in the corner. Like, the rook is like uh, just some random, you know, just, just stoner walking around. Uh, and this goes on for a while. King f1, queen takes h2. Uh, so now the queen is infiltrated. Um, black plays h2. 
Queen g3 check, hangs the queen. Queen b3. Now black plays h3. Rook g1. Read it and weep. Yet another knight has been made. There are now five horses. I think drunk stockfish, when programmed to lose, just really likes ponies. Not like that. Not like that. King takes g1. Knight g6. Queen takes h3. And now there are no pawns on the board. And the rest of this endgame is both queens staring at each other and a horse fiesta. Knight f4, king h2, blundering checkmate, queen takes queen, king h1. And in the end game, what would ultimately happen is uh, one side would try to sacrifice all of its pieces to the other, uh, and the other side would avoid it. So at some point, you have to program the game to end, otherwise it will end in a draw. So we flipped the coin and decided, see, see, the best move is to take, and then I'm not even sure three knights can mate a king, although Stockfish seems to think so, yes. There we go, they definitely can. Uh, king h2, now black could go here, but instead black plays this, and then this, and then this, and the white king is just running away. I mean, when in fact the white king could be taking the queen, but is just not doing it. Queen f is just not taking the queen, queen f7. And now white is just going to try to sacrifice the knights, and black is just not going to take them, because black is pro- <laughs> What is happening? Knight c5, king b2, and now queen takes c6 is a... Look at this. The knights trap the queen. <coughs> you see, if black plays king a1, black is like giving up a lot of advantage. But queen takes c6 is very, very funny. And the endgame now uh, just becomes giga dank as... <laughs> just running away and black is losing the queen every move literally trying to lose the queen on every move and white is refusing to take and uh finally after 112 moves of action uh black decides all right i've had enough trying to hang my queen to you you refuse to take it so i will have to put you out of your misery and black wins um 112 moves. If we let this continue, it probably would have gone into the 200s, but this is what happens when you program Stockfish to mathematically make the worst move possible on every single turn. It is some giga brain dank stuff. All right? This is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the stupidest and most hilarious things I have ever seen. And I just had, this is, we literally created the worst possible chess game. That's what we did today. We made history. You are a part of history. There we go. Sensational stuff. Um, we'll go back to regularly scheduled good chess programming tomorrow. But for now, get out of here.